right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Music Village. And yeah, about that video game story, if you were wondering where that kettle brewing line came from, it actually came from Hunter the Reckoning when I was playing alongside with my sister, and we actually used two flamethrowers back to back and killed a whole bunch of witches, zombies, and whatever the hell was up on that roof when we lit them up. And as a matter of fact, I do believe for the first attempt, my sister did join me in my flamethrower excavates, and it got her killed. Probably the reason why she wanted to get the hell out of there so quick. Huh. And oh, as a bonus, we did play this game by ourselves, and it will be featured in another video game story in the future. No, just give you guys a heads up. And with that heads up and red alert for our single player zombie experience in the near future, folks, I think it's time for us to go into one of my favorite parts of the show. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, none other than the Yindi for the weekend, which is me giving you guys local content information from local artists performing in a local area live near you. And we kick things off with Friday, July 17th. And the first bands that we have up is Epilogues, A Boy Named John, Hundera, and Hooligans, or Halogens. Yes, Halogens. Thanks, Maestro. Who's all going to be performing at the Asbury Park Brewery in Asbury Park, New Jersey at 7 p.m.? Kip Moore. Ernest, Sam Hunt, and Travis Denning is all going to be performing at the BBNT Pavilion in Camden, New Jersey at 7 p.m. Zoe So is going to be performing at the Caesars in Atlantic City, New Jersey at 7 p.m. You can also see the Black Crows, who's going to be performing at the PNC Bank Art Center in Homendale, New Jersey at 8 p.m. Red Miller is going to be performing at the Anchor Rock Club in Atlantic City, New Jersey at 9 p.m. Rory Kelly is going to be performing at the Ryan's Pub and Grill in Monroe Township, New Jersey at 8 p.m. And Maestro's asking me why in the world are we getting the times mixed up and I told him we might as well mention as many bands as possible on this jam-packed show. So let's continue because the next band we have up is the BC Combo who's going to be performing at the Alba Vineyards in Milford, New Jersey at 8 p.m. Hicks Town Road is going to be performing at the Tuckerton Beach Bar and Grill in Tuckerton, New Jersey at 8 p.m. Spin Doctor, nice band name, is going to be performing at the Hard Rock Cafe in Atlantic City, New Jersey at 8 p.m. You can also see Ryan Cabrera, Lance Bass, Mark McGrath, Old Town, and one other band yet to be announced who's all going to be performing at the Pop 2000 Tour hosted by Lance Bass of NSYNC, or NSYNC, in Atlantic City, New Jersey at 9 p.m. And to finally wrap it up for Friday night, you can see Radio Tokyo. Nice band name, who's going to be performing at the Nardi's Tavern in Long Beach Township, New Jersey, at 10 p.m. And on Saturday, July 18th, you can see these following bands performing in a local area near you, live. Brian Kirk and the Jerks is going to be performing at the James Club in Point Pleasant Beach, New Jersey at 1 p.m. Jeff Gunther, TYG, and Paul Miller is all going to be performing at the Jefferson House in Lake Opaca, New Jersey at 5 p.m. The Revivalist, nice band name is going to be performing at the Stone Pony Summer Stage in Asbury Park, New Jersey at 5 p.m. 
Touch of Grey is going to be performing at the Bernie's Hillside Tavern in Chester Township, Jersey. At 6 p.m., you can also see Kaylee Goldsworthy, nice band name, who's going to be performing at the Crossroads in Garwood, New Jersey. At 8 p.m., DJ EMV is going to be performing at the XL Nightlife in Elizabeth, New Jersey. At 9 p.m. And to finally wrap it up for Saturday night, you can see Dom Grosso, who's going to be performing at the Dog Tooth Bar and Grill in Wildwood, New Jersey. At 10 p.m. And on Sunday, July 19th, you can see these following bands performing in a local area live near you. Let's Hang On is going to be performing at the Newton Theater in Newton, New Jersey. At 11 a.m., Nikki S. Buffoni is going to be performing at the Sheridan Winery in Hamilton, New Jersey. At 1 p.m., Kevin McGowan is going to be performing at the Working Dog Winery in Hinestown, New Jersey. At 1 p.m., you can also see Whiskey Crossing, who is going to be performing at the Airport Pub and Package in Sussex, New Jersey. At 3 p.m., Kenny Corzio is going to be performing at the Council Oak Fish in Atlantic City, New Jersey. At 5 p.m., you can also see Les DeRose, Valerie V, and Valley Roses, who's all going to be performing at the Secundo in Cape May, New Jersey. At 6 p.m., Russell Norkovic is going to be performing at the Town Path Restaurant Americana in Lambertville, New Jersey. At 6 p.m., Touch of Grey is going to be performing at the Mr. Krabby Seafood House and Sports Bar in Randolph, New Jersey. At 6 p.m., Valerie Roses, Laid the Rose, and Valerie V is once again going to be performing at the Secundo in Cape May, New Jersey. At 7 p.m., ah, two performances in less than an hour in the same day. Not bad. And to finally wrap it up for Sunday night, you can see Asbury Fever, who's going to be performing at the Memorial Park in Fairlawn, New Jersey, at 8 p.m. And on Monday, July 20th, you can see these following bands performing in a local area near you, live. Frank Vignola is going to be performing at the This Camp is Sold Out in Fairfield, New Jersey. At 9 a.m., Nikki Espafoni is going to be performing at the Harry's Ocean Bar and Grill in Cape May, New Jersey. At 4 p.m., Valley Roses, Les the Rose, and Valerie V is all going to be performing at the Exit Zero Filling Station in Cape May, New Jersey. At 5 p.m., Cheesy and the Crackers is going to be performing at the Mud Hen Brewing Company in Wildwood, New Jersey. At 6 p.m., Dom Grosso is going to be performing at the Crab House at Two Mile Landing in Wildwood, New Jersey. At 6 p.m., Kenny Curcio is going to be performing at the Boathouse in Wildwood, New Jersey. At 7 p.m., you can also see Anne Hampton Calloway, who's going to be performing at the Anne Hampton Calloway Jazz Meets Broadway performance in Cape Bay, New Jersey. At 8 p.m., and to finally wrap it up for Monday night and for all the bands we're going to mention for this week, you can see the Blues Brothers, Brother, 
the New Year Brothers, and three other bands yet to be announced who is all going to be performing at the Boardwalk Showroom at the Heritage Hotel in Atlantic City, New Jersey at 8 p.m. So the Blues Brothers' brother, I wonder who that would be. What, John Goodman? Well, before we try to figure that out, folks, if you guys want to go ahead and check out the complete list of bands that we could list during this very broadcast, and trust me, folks, there were a lot of them, you can head on over to ReverbNation.com to check out the complete list of bands that we could list during this very broadcast. And like I said, then of all of these kids, go out there, support your local artists, and see these guys perform live. And trust me, they'll love you for it. And I guess with that said, we might as well head back into this music and continue to listen to these diamonds and rough, only here, right here, on Music Village. So don't get lost in that afternoon traffic just yet, folks, and stay tuned. 